It is Friday morning. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Steve Talley is here from 110 Grill. We've got cucumber and avocado tuna on the menu. It's also our roadie deal of the day, and they are going quick as well. So head to roadiedeals.com right now because we don't want to hear you saying, I wanted to get one, and there weren't any left. Go to roadiedeals.com right now. You're going to get a $50 gift certificate for only $25. Bucks. So that's roadiedeals.com. Get on it right now. Steve, good to see you. Nice seeing you. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Now, I also want to point out, so 110 Grill, you have three locations, right? Well, we have 36 total, but we have three okay. in the area. Okay, so that's, uh, these, uh, the gift certificates can be used at any one of those Absolutely. locations as well. So just so you know, where are those locations, just so folks know? So the one closest to us is the one right here in Providence, downtown Providence. Which has been busy. Very busy lately. Which is great. Which is great. Every Friars game, sure. they absolutely blow right, up. Right, so if right. you need a reservation get on to it. get there. Right. Um, but beyond that, we have one in Fall River, okay. uh, and then one right in Rentham, okay. right on Route 1. So plenty of locations. Go to RoadyDeals.com right now to get those gift certificates. Tell us what we're going to make and what the ingredients are that we need to put it together. So we're going to be making our uh, avocado tuna today, and it starts with some uh, seared tuna. Um, it is yellowfin tuna that has been seared rare with our Cajun seasoning. The Cajun seasoning over here is a, a blend of different ca uh, peppers, um, garlic powder, um, onion powder, and then it goes on a bed of jasmine rice okay. with some soy ginger dressing, um, some cucumber um, that has been shaved and some shaved honeydew melon. Oh, nice. You know, I was looking down at this going, it looks like melon. I'm wondering if that's actually what it, what it, it is. It absolutely is. Um, and a nice coolness for the summer. If people are going to make this at home, what do they need to look for when they're when they're buying tuna? So what you want to look for is a nice pink color in tuna. Um, this specifically is yellowfin, and it comes um, right, it's it's caught off uh, right off the coast of, of New England, which sure. is great. Okay. Um, so it, very, very simple. Um, what you're looking for is to, to try to get a little bit of fat content into it, but not a whole lot. Okay. Um, the best part about tuna is that it is very forgiving when you're going to cook it. Right. Um, so you have a little bit of room for error, um, but it, it's best served rare. All right. Sounds good. We will put this together and uh, talk about the restaurants as well. Don't forget, go to RoadyDeals.com right now for those gift certificates. Back to you. This morning, back in the Roadshow Kitchen on this fine Friday, we are delighted to welcome Chef Steve Talley from 110 Grill. Good morning. Good morning. A great pleasure to have you here. I saw you with Will earlier. Uh, he has been hard at work preparing the cucumber and avocado tuna. That's right. Talk to us about what you've been doing. It looks spectacular. So we started off with that, that um, raw piece of tuna, and then we seasoned it with our, our bronzing seasoning. That kind of gives it a nice um, blackened flavor to it. Love it. Um, it's on a bed of jasmine rice with our soy ginger dressing on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, it is seared rare. Um, I've cut it on a nice hard bias to kind of get everything nice and neat for you so it's easy to cut. And then it's some, some shaved cucumber, melon, and avocado. This is great. Uh, is this something that we can regularly get at your, on your menu? Was it a special? What do we need to know? So this is actually part of the core menu. Um, the core menu actually is, is spectacular. Um, the fact that the entire core menu can be made gluten-free. Um, we specialize in allergies, which is fantastic for us uh, and for anybody with an allergy. Um, but this guy is uh, one of our more popular dishes. Um, it's great for the summertime, eating it on the patio with a couple cocktails. Um, nice, light, refreshing. Oh, that's this is scratching me right where I itch. The patio with a few cocktails is perfect for, like you said, the summertime, which is upon us. And these right here, I mean, Steve, they look too good to eat. That's how good they look. Thank You've you. Done a masterful job Thank here. You. For you, is that part of the fun of being a chef, getting creative, trying new things? It really is. And honestly, uh, what really started me with, with 110 Grill was actually this dish. Um, this dish uh, walked by while I was in the middle of the interview process, and I was like, what is that? And the person I was interviewing with said, oh, that's our avocado tuna, very nonchalant. Now, um, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bunch of flashes. It's like, what is going on over there? He's like, oh, people are taking pictures of, of the dish. And I was like, I'm in. Sign me up right now. I'm in. <laughs> well, um, I've learned through these cooking segments right here on the road show. I've been told many times, first of all, stay away from the kitchen. But when I do go in, they say, you eat first with your eyes. If something is aesthetically pleasing, it makes you want to sample it. Absolutely. And uh, each one of our restaurants is also an open kitchen concept so you can see everything that's happening you can see your food come right into the window while you're waiting we actually have some booths right along the side of the our expo screen and you can literally watch them make your dish watch them make everything um it's a great great um Experience, especially for children. They love when we set pans on fire. Uh, um, they have a great time. <laughs> I would love that. That sounds pretty good to me. And maybe inspiring the uh, future generation of culinary masters. Exactly. As well. Uh, let's talk about 110 Grill. You, I heard uh, through the grapevine, multiple locations. Certainly, yeah. So we have 36 t locations t in total. Um, three within All the of them in Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> no, just three within the vicinity. We have one downtown Providence, um, one in Fall River, Massachusetts, and then right on Route 1 in Rentham. Um, those are your, your three closest for our 
for this area. Yeah, and for someone who's never been, they need to come check you guys out. You alluded to this one, of course, which is currently on the menu. You mentioned that open kind of plan that people can come and experience. What else can we look forward to? I'd imagine the menu is extensive. The menu is really expensive. Uh, extensive. <laughs> cool. Extensive. extensive. Um, especially for gluten-free options. Our entire core menu, like I said, can be made 100% gluten-free. Um, we offer everything from um, a ribeye for a, a business meal or a burger for, for sitting out on the deck. Awesome. And how long have you been part of the team? Now? I've been a part of 110 for about six years now. Um, and it's been, honestly, we were talking earlier, it's just been a fantastic experience all the way around. I bet. Do you need an assistant in the kitchen? I mean, Come on I'm down. I'm really good at doing nothing, <laughs> as you can see. But for someone out there who's watching this, maybe just tuning in, has seen what you have prepared here, Steve, any tips, any pieces of advice that they should keep in mind if they want to try this? I mean, you do it. You're a master. It looks spectacular. But what should they just stay on top of it? You know, planning. What do we need to know? So with this dish in particular, it's all about timing. Um, the, when you sear the tuna, you want to make sure you don't oversear. Um, this dish in particular is best served cold and rare. The only thing um, hot on this dish is the jasmine rice, so everything is nice and chilled. Give your tuna some time to rest awesome. and then chill it. Chill it for about half an hour, slice it on a nice hard bias for you, and then it'll be an absolutely beautiful piece of tuna for you. Cold and rare, just like me. Steve, a great pleasure to pleasure. have you here. Thank uh, you so really much. Really great to meet you. Great job here in the kitchen, and we hope to see you again. Thank you so much. All I'll right. be back. This is the man chef, Steve Talley from 110 Grill. As you heard, they have multiple locations, so no excuses not to check these guys out. You can try the cucumber and avocado tuna, tuna or any of those great options, but for this recipe and more, head to Rocho.com.